Hello, and welcome to Teleglitch. Um, thought I'd do a little bit of recording of it. It's a uh, a roguelike um, indie type game. Um, it's got a permadeath feature, so when you die, um, <clears throat> you're dead. You have to start all over again. Uh, I've played a little bit. Um, not sure how many hours I've got. Uh, I've got about ch -ch -ch 10 hours. Okay, well actually I think I've had that tabbed out, so I don't think that's entirely true. But uh, yeah, can, we can't continue, obviously, because it's permadeath. So, here we go. Uh, level 1. Uh, we were working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere to unlimited distances. But something went wrong. Figures. Something came through from the other side. First, we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive, and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping rooms and hallways, would randomly reorganize themselves as following some twisted pattern. Well, I'm sorry for that noise. Uh, I decided to see myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks. I'm sorry again. But nobody came, and I'm running out of food. My only chance is to use the regular teleporters of the facility to get to the master teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. Okay, well, I've read that before, but um, what's funny is is that as you read some of these terminals, which you find about the game, which explain uh, a little bit more what's going on, um, it says that the planet has been quarantined um, due to... <laughs> lack of profits because everyone died basically um so if if it's been quarantined i would have thought that if there is a teleporter on the other oh, i hear people opening doors yeah if there's a teleport on earth which is linked to one here technically that wouldn't mean it's quarantined would it now, let's have a look. Oh, I think I'll just knife this fella. Okay, I've got 96 now. I think they take two damage per hit, those uh, little zombies. Or mutants, rather. Um, so let's just go through here. Oh, there's some boxes. Mailbox. Oh, hello. Ouch. Yeah, they're not a big deal. A big deal. <coughs> so, uh, yes, this is Teleglitch. I think it's very, uh, very, like, this game is very, uh, I suppose you could say simplistic in terms of design, like, texture-wise and art way of graphics but um there are a lot of little gimmicks about the game which are very uh original and unique about it which oh yeah the, um for instance when you shoot um it gives a a, a kind of like a oh, such a loud room Ooh, AGL yeah when you shoot you're aim well, when you're aiming, your character actually has like a fuzzy... If you know what I mean, like that. And that gives a really uh, good feel to the weapons in the game. I like that a lot. And uh, also, another thing which isn't as obvious, is that you can move certain items, not like properly like as if you could you know but you can actually set up barricades and uh 
enemies can push them as well, but if you set it up in the right way, you can shoot through or over, I don't know, whichever. That's quite cool, like that you can do that. It's like it gives room for um playing the game to your preference because the game gives you some kind of freedom. Um what we're doing here is we're trying to find the teleporter. We've got a map here. The red red doors are where I haven't been, and the grey ones are where I have. So the aim of this is to find the teleporter until you get to the master teleporter. Pretty much like Risk of Rain, that other roguelike game. Pretty much same kind of concept in terms of progression, except uh, everything that you find in terms of items, uh, you know, you have ammo for all of your weapons. Some of them are makeshift, so you get recipes for each item which are, can be crafted. Um, it's, it gives it a very uh, very good aspect of survival to the game. Yeah, so... Basically this says that they bought a cheap planet and that they uh, they didn't want any attention from any uh, settlements or uh, you know anyone colonized space it says so they really want to be off the radar because this is a military uh oh sorry this is a military base where they're conducting research oh there's a secret here so there's all sorts of things that could go wrong in a place like this so Okay. Funny thing about these secret rooms, see secret area. Ah, can gun. I've never actually used a can gun because it says it's dangerous to the user. I'm not sure if it's disposable. It doesn't seem to use ammo, so I assume it's single use. See, this is some another little gimmick about the game which I find quite interesting. Is that these walls that you can break? Sometimes you can get in, but you can't get back out again, because it's literally like a, a, like here, and a lot of people that I've heard comment on this, I think it's really good, like in terms of, because it means that if you're being chased, it's like real life, like you've got to wiggle your way through it, and I suppose it it's me just polishing up a bad point of the game, but I don't know, I find that quite quite good, you know, it's quite... I don't know, I guess it's... games like this, you, I find myself imagining uh, a little bit more than is actually presented in terms of gameplay. It's kind of like reading a book, I suppose. Like a lot of people see it differently because it's their imagination. But I really do take it to heart the uh, experience. Well, I can really think about myself in this situation, and I can get really, really enthusiastic about the game. I seem to be doing quite well on ammo. Um, so I'm not too afraid to use my weapon. Uh, another thing about this game is that if you look here, as soon as I do this, the, the walls have a tendency to affect your field of vision, as you'd think they would. But because it's a, uh, it's a very, you know, it's a very simplistic kind of game, these things are often overlooked, I think, when people are given the game a, a little bit of a test out to see if it's their cup of tea. And it's these little things about the game which make it really, uh, really shine in, a, in a, an unobvious fashion, I think. Um, you have to really appreciate certain little 
things. I mean, it's not graphically, you know, on the top of the charts, but it's got things that go in for it. For instance, if I go like this, you'll see that there's a line. Just, well, for instance, look. I go like this, can't see down that corridor to my right. If I go like this, I can see. So it really does, like what it lacks in graphical fidelity and stuff, it really does make up for what it, you know, all this lighting effects and stuff, it's, it, I think it's, uh, I think it's decent, you know, I really enjoy it because, uh, I think you need to have some kind of imagination. Not that games need that. Oh god, I hate this stuff. If you touch that, you die. And so do other enemies, actually. It's supposed to be some kind of anti-matter. But, um, the game is randomly generated. Um, to a certain extent. Um, the game isn't completely procedural. But, um... The levels will be, uh, like certain rooms for instance, oh here's the teleporters, um, certain rooms, like the layout of this map, um, it will be random, so this room at the top here, that might be somewhere else, or, you know, different loot and different rooms, so it's got a lot of replayability, which, oh there's a secret, also secret rooms, obviously the whole point of them being secret, they're never going to be in the same spot. So, I think it takes about three shots from a pistol. Yes, it does. I thought, like, you can use explosives, which are these things, they're basically, uh, like, C4. But, although it seems like you would think it would be better for breaking through into secret rooms, they actually don't do that well. I find myself using more than two a lot of the time. So, I suppose it is better just to use a pistol. You can't use your knife either, so... All part of the, uh... Ah, teleport... I already know where that is. Silly game. Nah, it's not silly. It thought... Oh, there's got a shotgun, that's alright. See, shotgun's pretty good. It says it's fully automatic, I suppose it is fully automatic as far as shotguns go, but... Really, it just feels... Like you don't have to... You know, it's just... It's got a decent rate of fire, it just doesn't, you know, when you think of something fully automatic, it seems to me more around the rate of fire of something that would be semi-automatic. I don't know. I think, oh, there's a door here. How do we get there? Um, down, and then keep to the left. Really like this game. Oh, lovely. Can meat. Can meat's interesting because uh, oh, I found a tube as well. Yeah, can meat. You consume it, and it will give you empty cans. And then you can use those empty cans. Ah, oh, that noise. You can use those empty cans by pressing C on the keyboard, and then you can um make armor from the metal that you get. So we need to use that anyway. Can meat will heal you 10 health, I think it is. Yeah, it's 10 health. Medkits, if it's got a number next to it, that is the amount of health that it will heal. But it will never heal over 100 health. Whereas can meat, um, as you'll see, I've got 102, then it'll go to 112, 122. So there you go. And I've also got empty cans now, so I should be able to make a plate good for building something. So there's a bit of mystery around what you can do with the recipes. So I've made a plate now. If I get another plate, I'll be able to make some armor. And all these things that you find in the game, like crafting recipes, ammo, well not ammo, but weapons, uh, consumables, they will be put into a log, which is here. Go on info. You can go on items, and it tells you the recipes if you know, if you've already 
come across the item in one of your playthroughs before, it will tell you, say, how to make an auto pistol. So in an auto pistol, we need hardware and a 9 minute rear pistol to make an automatic pistol. So, it's all good stuff. Nail bomb is pretty self explanatory as what you would think it would be. Some explosives and a nail box. Uh, detector, microchip, tube equals detector. And it, it's really interesting because some of the items with the recipes require you to use, say, like a detector, which is something which detects where enemies are going to ambush you from before you uh, come across it. So it gives you a bit of a heads up. Um, it uses a tube, and a tube can also be used for a teleporter, which is an item which you carry on yourself, not the actual teleporters you come across for progressing in the game. And because of that, it makes you makes your choices a little bit more... Oh, fucking hell. Okay, hang on a second, this is fun. That they get stuck together. Because it's ad ad adver adverhensive grenade launcher. Yeah. You really gotta shoot in the right direction though. See these zombies usually do two damage. They got a ten kind of like a tendency to circle you. So if you get it down right, you can uh there's nothing in there anyway. You can <clears throat> you can uh, kind of predict where they're going to go and set explosives down as you're uh, <clears throat> sorry as you're uh, running away from them because you know if they're going to walk over it or not because you know their pattern of walk pattern of walk um, so <clears throat> sorry my throat is yeah I don't know um, so yeah it's it's cool stuff like the more you play the game. You're gonna die a lot, but I often find myself self. When I die, I may get a bit mad about it, but I'll learn the reason of why I died, and then I'll be able to avoid it, or at least try to avoid the way I died from what I learnt from my death the next time I play the game. I don't really know how that affects replayability. I suppose. I know that there are 10 levels in the game. Uh, this is the Die More Edition. So it's uh, got a couple more levels than the original. Uh, okay, Plankton Farm and Military Biology Sector. Uh, this is unique to the, the Die More Edition, is that on the first level you get an option between two stages that you can progress to. Um, I think we'll go to the plankton because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> God. The situation is bad. The non-human combatants are everywhere and they attack me on sight. I'm gonna, going to try and move through the plankton farm complex next. That sector was used to feed a type of military critters that were we were cloning and developing about eight years ago. However, the sector was abandoned after the Critter project ended. The perfect war animal prototype was shipped away with its design blueprints for production and there was no need for producing extra plankton anymore. If I'm lucky, the sector should still be deserted and I might be able to slip through unnoticed. Well, we can dream, can't we? So this is a cool little thing. Um, in order for you to save your game, you need to exit. So it doesn't let you uh, continue from where you left off if you exit the game. So that kind of makes replayability like a bigger possibility for this game. So yeah, 
We are in the plankton farm, level two. Six leg battle mutants. See, these are the mutants that we have come across. The spelt shrimp wrong there. Sh -sh -sh shrimp, shrimp, sh -sh shrimp, shrimp, sh -sh -sh yeah. I uh, watch a YouTuber called uh, Shiny Rayquaza, and uh, when he got to this terminal, it was so funny, like, funny stuff. He, he kind of wasn't sure if it was his brain confusing him or if it was the game itself. Oh god. I don't really know what to do here. Uh, let's try that. Ah. Okay. Yeah, they're stuck. That's fun. Oh, so many of them. Oh. What are we like for health? We got 90. That's okay. Okay, guys. Now, what I was on about before, you see how their pattern of... Oh, this guy's a bit more unpredictable. But, um, what I'll do is, so I'll do this. Ah, see, there's a way you can do this. There you go. Oh shit, that one's annoying, that one is. Is he dead? See, sometimes they get back up again. Oh, I don't like that when they do it. Okay, they're definitely dead. So yeah. I lost about, I don't know how much health there, but... Just because I was trying to explain something. It was worth it. Not that I pulled it off that well, but oh god. Fast but weak. Ah, oh, another tube. It's good. Tubes seem to be quite plentiful in this run. I've got... how many have I got? Oh, tube. Two tubes. That's not too many, but... When you play the game a lot, you realise how good that is. <sighs> yeah, about that sh scrimp thing. There are quite a few spelling errors in this game, unfortunately. But that's okay. You know, I'm not a fucking... critic. I mean, if I like a game, I like a game, you know? I'm not gonna... not play it because of some spelling errors. So yes, very good. Oh, there is a door. Is that a door? No. Yeah. Oh. If that's not a door, that means there's some enemies around. Oh, it's not even a door. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Well, what can we see? Nothing in there, I don't think. No. But yeah, the way those enemies move, those mutants... You can actually get them into that void here. But because it's such a narrow space here... I'm not going to pull it off, but I might be able to show it off in a bit, don't know, depends, depends if it happens, you know, whatever, good game, how many cans we got, oh we can make that, ah she's using tubes though, sod that, I like my tubes, new tubes, yeah, Sometimes you get doors that just need to blocked doorways. It's just some way the game is. There's just a couple. It's just a couple. It's all right. I can take them. One hit on each. Oh, fucking more hits on me in there. Oh, he's dead. And you as well. There you go. Lovely. Hmm. What's this? This is a. It's a secret. Look. Okay. One, two, three. Is it a secret? Looks like a secret. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe it isn't then. That's really strange. It looks so much like there is. As you can see, it's like... Like the character's eyes. That's what I was on about with the, the field of vision, which is why I thought there was a... Hmm, secret, but obviously not. Oh well. Oh, sh shut up, you fool. Come on, then. Let's brawl. Oh, he takes more than two, doesn't he? He might die next time. Nope, he takes four. Fucking hell. Whew. Jesus. Oh, here's the teleporter. I don't feel like I've... No, oh, there's always a door at the beginning, isn't there? Well, we'll go through this one first. Ah, oh, okay, let's see. Okay, we're doing pretty good on ammo. It's quite, quite good. Uh, where do we go? Okay, keep going to the left, then left again, then right, then keep going, and then left. Left, then left again, then keep going. And it's to the left. Yep. Is that worth it? Oh. Why is it that every time I find the teleporter, I then find the terminal, which tells me where it is? Not that, um... I mean, it's kind of good if you want to speed through the level. I swear I've been there before. Oh, maybe not. Strange. Um... Oh, they're definitely... <gasps> Ooh! Hello? Have... Ooh, ouch. Okay, 82 health. Ah. Come on, then. There we go. And one more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, what's the saying? Oh yeah, um, telling me where the teleporter is isn't gonna make me go straight there. Because usually if I find the teleporter before I've... You know what I'm gonna do here. I seem to have a fair amount of ammo. There we go, don't line them up. Uh, yeah, if I find the teleporter first, I'm always gonna go back most of the time for doors that I haven't gone through yet. So though it's kind of kind of it to tell me. I suppose if I was running low on health, I'd be less inclined to want to explore areas that weren't where the <gasps> They're quite powerful, aren't they? He's gonna get back up again. Yep. Nope. Why? Is he dead? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, it seems that enemies only do that when uh, you're using a powerful weapon like the shotgun. Ah, that's exactly what we just came across. Yep, so... They're cheap. I think... Are they made from... Dead people? No. The zombies are interesting. There's a lot of uh, lore within the game, which are quite good, you know, to read. Uh, 76 might be worth using this. Fuck it. I think I just lost like three potential bits of health. Because only heals to look. Oh, hello. These are zombies for sure. Okay. Oh, did I get that? Yeah, I did. Oh, wrong button. Huh. I think that's it now, isn't it? Oh, there's one through the right here. Okay, that's big. Okay. Um, I think we might use this this time. Oh, yes, sir. Come then. I think that was a waste, really, but 
Fuck it, hey? It's alright. I just wanted to give it a go, see if I could pull it off. It's good to know in the future in case I do get overrun. Aha! Now we can make some armour. As you can see, I now have 50% out of 100 armour. The thing is though, in the description of the item log it says that it only projects you from projectiles, but it seems to seems to resist a bit of melee damage as well, because your health goes down also, but not quite as much as without armour. So I think it's worth having, regardless of what the description is. Uh, Okay, I don't think... I think we can continue now. Oh, have I been... Ah, yeah, definitely. That little circle on the map, just just there, to the right. I mean left. Um, it means that it is... a container. So it's totally worth checking that out. Absolutely. Hmm. I think that's it now. Oh no, we haven't been through here yet. Hello, little fella. Come on then. Yeah. Better die soon. Ah. XP grenades. I think they are uh, ammo for the AGL. Ooh, I didn't know I found that. That's good. It's a machine gun. Groovy. Right. So, yes. I think... Oh, yeah. This is... Ooh, what the fuck are you doing in there, you little shit? That is a tiny place to be. He's literally... Sitting in here like a little cunt. Wait, waiting for something. And it happened, you know? Oh shit. I heard, I've heard that is a decent gun. Standard assault rifle modified to operate with a drum magazine. Absolutely. I heard the reload is longer, but you have more capacity for your magazine. Right now it has 30, let's do it. Now it has... Yeah, that's a long reload time. But I think it goes up to 100, so that is... insane. I think it's more accurate as well. So I think that's totally worth it. Probably a better option than the auto pistol, which is similar in terms of principle but I mean it has high rate of fire, it uses pistol rounds so the ammo is more uh oh wrong one. Yeah the ammo is more um common but uh it's less accurate than the standard pistol. And you seem to go through ammo so much, regardless of how common that kind of ammo is. I'm sorry, my memory is not working. Um, so yeah, I think having multiple weapons which consume different ammo types kind of helps in a way. Okay, here we go. I think we've been through there. Yes, we have. Yeah. I think it's level 3 now. <laughs> Robotic hardware assembly. Okay. No worries. Secrets. I found no secrets. 
back. Oh well. So that means I could possibly have more than I have on me currently. Poison Gardens. Must take a break from tending the Poison Gardens. Biology Administration AI Protocol will be taking care of the plants for a while. However, I would prefer if some of you guys would do this. Let me know. See, they're not necessarily uh, always uh, um, beneficial to you, but sometimes you find early in the game when you're not really sure what's... <gasps> No! God damn it! Fuck off! Oh shit! Shit a brick! What the fucking cunts! Ah! Oh! Oh, he's alive! What the fuck? Go away! Get wrecked! Well, I did not expect that. I mean, I've played this level before, but my goodness. Whew. See, that's what I mean. I, I've played this game for 10 hours and I never expected that to happen. <gasps> He's got a gun. Get wrecked, you fucking little shits. What the hell? Get out of my fucking hell. No, he's gonna... Yeah. Okay. Well. No worries. Jesus. <laughs> Look at all the fucking bodies. <laughs> my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be on my toes from now on. Shit shots. There's a lot of you fellas, isn't there? Oh, go away. Ooh, that really did take a lot of health. Well, combined with earlier. Ah, oh, it's no end, is there? Okay. Oh my goodness, what the hell? They're having a party in there or something. How many can you fit in a fucking room? Get out! I didn't want to be invited to your party, right? Stop trying to invite me. Although I'm going to have to go through there anyway. I, I really doubt there's anyone. Ah. Not very accurate, am I? <sighs> it's okay, we've got a lot of ammo. Oh, there's another one coming. He's got a gun. Me too, bitch. Oh! Oh, he dropped his gun. See, another cool thing about this game is that if... Never mind, I'll get back to saying that. Ah, it's a waste. Get out! Jeez Louise. Right, as I was saying... <laughs> um. A cool thing about this game is that if you kill an enemy which uses a weapon before they manage to shoot, they will drop the ammo. But that also means that if they... Um, I forgot where I was going with that, I'm sorry. But anyway, we don't need more than... Oh, here we go. Ah! No time to think, is there? Ooh, he dropped a can of meat, though. Ooh, look at my health. Shit. Right, um... I'm trying to remember where I was going with that. 
Okay. A good thing about enemies running out of ammo is that they can't shoot you anymore. But it also means that if they run out of ammo and you kill them, you're not going to be able to loot any ammo off them. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I wonder if that is the guy I'm playing as. Because apparently somebody injured a nail gun. Engineered. That makes a funny sound when it shoots. Uh, I haven't made one yet. But I can. Later. I don't know what it is. Hang on, let me let me see. Let's see what we... Items. Nail gun, nail gun, nail gun. Nail gun. Needs a tube. Okay, so there's two methods of crafting a nail gun. Oh no. Oh, it's telling me the recipe for the nail gun 2 because it's part of the nail gun 2's recipe. Right. So you need hardware, a 9mm pistol, and a tube. Um, I've got a tube. I've got a 9mm pistol. But I haven't got any hardware. So, nail guns are decent. I don't really like them until they're up to the second uh, upgrade. Because, oh, did we just get, oh no, it's hardware, isn't it? Right, we can get a detector now. That will help. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Upgrade the nail gun to the second stage, it gets an extra barrel. So nail gun 1 has one barrel, nail gun 2, two barrels. All the way up to nail gun 5, I think? You get the idea. Five barrels. But, um... The close range weapon. Oh, brilliant. See, now that was worth it. Um, what's it saying? I found the teleport as well. Ah, oh, let's see. Yeah, nail gun only really seems to be uh, useful once it's up to its second stage and then onwards. Um, another perk to using it. Oh, what was that? <gasps> Go away, you bastard! It's okay, because I'm going to use this on you. You are going to get wrecked. Why is he not dying? Okay. No worries. We survived. And here is the teleporter. Uh ah. We'll try out this door first. Oh, that door closing behind me, I actually thought it was an enemy in front of me, coming through a door. Oh. Teleglitch experiment. It seems we caught the worst possible molecule to transport back to our lab. As soon as the teleportation was complete, the molecule went through a composite walls of the transport container and somehow connected with the hardware of the teleporter. The teleport software has gone completely broken and we're unable to reset it. We decided to have the facility AI to clear up the software mess and reset the teleporter. Yes, well, we all know what happens to AI. Skynet man. Oh. Heard a door. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, I definitely want to go in there. So I'm going to have to aggravate them to come out anyway. I think they're going to be zombies. So what I'm going to do is... That's yeah, bitch. 
<laughs> Come in here, said the spider to the fly. Get wrecked. Look, this is what I was talking about. Oh, it's dead. So good. That would do the same to me, unfortunately, though. So you got to be careful. Yeah, well, that worked out really well. I killed about four of them. So in total, there was six. So that's, you know, I only had to take two out with the pistol then. And wiggle through here. Oh, what's this? Tube and nail box. Oh, oops. Detector. We've already got one of them. So I think we'll make a teleporter next. The teleporter... Oh! Don't want to go in there. Um, the teleporter... Oh, there's some there as well. The teleporter... <laughs> the teleporter, the teleporter, the teleporter. Well, the teleporter... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... Basically, if you die, it's like a, a Dios's friend from Risk of Rain, which means that you have a second life, but it teleports you to the next nearest teleporter. Not the nearest. I don't know if it's the begin. It must be the beginning teleporter. So, it's totally worth crafting that. <laughs> the teleporter! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this is where the party was, wasn't it? Can't be anyone left in there. Unless someone's too hungover to come say hi. You serious? Fucking hell. What kind of party is that? I think we're done here now. Yeah, we just need to go to that room there and then we can get the fuck on with the level. Not the level, but onto the next level, I mean. Going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. Wrong way. And we're going this way. Just check what's in here. Oh, fuck all. And off we go. Uh. Where are we going then? Even the dead can go crazy. Especially the dead. But sometimes also mutants. Robots. Or individual AI protocols. So this was the place where they put all of them. The scientists working here called themselves Necro Shrinks. I visited this place only once on my first day on Medusa 1C. They were giving me the facility tour and I happened to arrive to this madhouse of the dead on a very bad time. They had a bunch of crazy zombies who just wouldn't stop crying. They obeyed all of the orders, behaved otherwise perfectly, but would occasionally cry. Such workers would obviously be a problem, so I arrived at the day when they decided to shut these poor fellows down and give them the total reset. They went one by one into the reset chair and were turned off like switches. While all the rest were watching and crying, it's a sight hard to forget. On the funny side, there were lazy zombies. Anyway, I decided to avoid this sector for the rest of my career after that first day. It seems avoidance is not an option this time. I hope my visit to the madhouse will be swift and clean. Me too. Accuracy. Oh, no secrets again. Damn. Need to be more observant. We seem to be doing fairly well though. We haven't got a nail gun yet. I'll oh, have to write this quickly. There is a war going on in here. All the robots are freaking zombies and started attacking us on site. Uh, the communications are down and we don't know what's going on with the other sectors. The military mutants still obey our commands and we have set them against the zombies, covering them with rifle fire. 
Fucking cowards! Get into the fight! I'll angrily eat my meat at that. Oh god. Think of that as you will. I will ignore what that sounded like. Forgot to reload. Ooh. Holy shit, this is using ammo. Right, another cool thing about this game, whilst we're safe, is that you can drop. And every time you drop an, a pistol or something, it unloads the ammo. That can be moved up, actually. But then you can pick it back up again. And they'll be empty. See? So now I'll have extra ammo for my pistol. See? It's good. It's cool stuff. I like the detail they put in to this game. Because without detail, this wouldn't, you know, that's what got, it's got going for it. In this day and age, human life can be extended through Militech advanced life technologies, which combine synthetic organs, clone tissue transplants, stem cell injections, and the various antibiotic approaches. However, Great, the greats, the greatest, the greatest challenge <laughs> is keeping the brain fresh. It turns out that most patients start to become senile after 150 years of it. Who the fuck, what doctor is going to be about to monitor a patient for a hundred, okay, it's the future, fine. 150 years of age, even with high-quality brain stimulation microchips. Much research is still needed for extending and improving the clarity and sharpness of the human mind. Well, I have trouble doing that, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not 150 years old! Get out of my... house, you zombie! <sighs> yes. Oh, these are cells for containing. That was fun. Oh, we had a gun. Okay. Well, we shall drop that. Get the ammo out of it. Is there a monitor? Life extension technology is one. In this day and age, human life can be extended through... Ah! We've done this already. Hello, fellas. Oh, hello, fellas, indeed. <laughs> Not a problem, my friends. Ah! Oh. Fight me! Says the person running away. Uh, 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 regardless of how many enemies were coming at me then, they're actually... Oh! You're just in time! I was just talking about you! Uh, yeah, regardless of the enemies that just came at me, actually don't do that much damage. They cause more... I hit him. Hit him again. Yeah. Oof. Hit one. Get out! I'm trying to sneak up on people. Can't interrupt this. Oh boy. So what can we do? Nothing. I don't know what I was talking about if I was before. I'm sorry, I lost my trailer for. But... 
Everyone seems to be dead. Oh no, spoke too soon, didn't I? That's quite accurate. I'm quite proud of my ludicrous display. No, they didn't drop anything though. Didn't kill him quick enough. Um, I'll go through here first. Just because there doesn't seem to be any doorways here. <gasps> Where did you come from? Get out! I don't know what those little fellas are doing. Like, they just kind of walk towards you. It's a cool sound, isn't it? Don't need this many pistols. You know what? Fuck it. Where? So they can't be aggravated in order to progress towards you. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't even know he was there. Oh, camouflage. My goodness. Oh. Oh, I'm not doing on health that well. Okay, I'm going to concentrate now, because I haven't got many health kits left. They're really like, the AI of those guards with the guns, they're actually pretty good. Like, they can navigate towards you. I don't know if he was aggravated by my presence, or if... If they just have like a perimeter that they patrol, but I found that really interesting that, you know, I wasn't near him, he must have walked quite a way to get to me. Hmm. Lobotomy. What a word. Shame it means something terrible. I don't like using my pistol in these. Yeah. I don't. I like using the shotgun, and I know you're not dead. What the fuck? Honestly, man. Jesus. Is, is, is. Oh, I know what that is. That is a security camera. Actually, I don't think it is a security camera. I think it is a sentry gun. So, what we are going to do... Uh, going to come over. We're just going to go, hello! <laughs> ah, brilliant. I hope he was guarding something terrific. That's alright, I suppose. Oh, look. You can push this terminal. Wouldn't this mean that I'm standing on the table right now? With a computer on my head? Okay. I guess the turret needed to guard that secret because it's very entertaining. And who wouldn't want to stand on a table with a computer on their head? So, it's, you know. I just came from here, didn't I? Yes. Mm hmm. I did. And then. We shall go. I bet one of these is going to be like a broken tunnel. Oh, I don't look really deceiving. What are you saying? Water Termination 2. Non note by non-human neurology scientist number 4. Unfortunately, we cannot use drugs to solve auto-termination issues for AIs as we do live with... What, blah, 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 as we do with live or reacted, reactivated awareness... Uh, systems. 
The closest form of digital drug suitable for AIs have been carefully designed virtual realities, acting like digital drugs. However, the AI must be completely isolated from its knowledge concerning the real world world in order to enjoy the stress free stress stress relieving effects of the custom made virtual settings. The problem with this is increased chance of irregular or existentialist behaviour and thinking patterns, which often promote auto-termination as well. So it's not really a solution, is it? No, it is not. Looks very suspicious. Ha! Ha! Oh, fuck my life! I thought I was fucking right! You bastards! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Fuck! Fuck! Why? Oh no! <sighs> yes, suspicious was the right word. <laughs> oh dear. Why? Like, that was, like, did you see what just happened there? Like, I said it was suspicious, and I was kind of loosely basing that. I mean, I didn't expect what just happened to happen. But did you see, like, as soon as those people, zombies or whatever, after they followed me, I went down into the room that had the many doors. It seemed that the guards were triggered, like, to come after me as soon as the rest of the enemies were aggravated. I didn't even, I didn't even go near that door where they came from. So, I suppose the AI in this game is actually a lot more advanced than I thought. Or, I don't know, maybe it's scripts? I, I don't know, but that was cool, but fucking annoying and hilarious at the same time. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I shall be doing some more playthroughs later on, and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.